Hey, good morning, fuckers, and welcome to a new day at the Daily BM. Just kidding, it's the same old shit, different day. What's up, Mikey? Hey, what's going on, everybody? (laughs) Oh, brother, man. So, you know, I saw something interesting happen this weekend, and I wanted to talk about parents again. (laughs) Okay. And I'm going to jump right into this shit right away, because what caught my attention to it, honestly, and brought it to the forefront, of Jeez. my mindset today was the fact that what the hell transpired. I go to Publix, right? Which if right. anybody who doesn't live in the southeastern United States doesn't know who Publix is. Publix is a major uh, grocery store chain down here in Florida. It actually originated in our hometown. But anyway, so you know how when you leave Publix, there's always people out there like kids, you know, like football teams, Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, things like that asking for money. Right? Uh. To sell Don't their get goods. me started on that. Well, uh, well I'm about to because we're about to fucking have a tee off session. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tell you how shitty people and parents can be. All right, okay. or even just people in general. Uh, so I walk out. I'll tell my story, a good side of it. So I walk out, and the girl goes, "Hi." She goes, "Would you be interested in some Girl Scout cookies?" And I'm thinking. No, can't you see how fat I am? No, I'm just kidding, but I was like... Uh, exactly, I'm, that's why she's I'm, asking you. I know, I'm trying to lose weight. Yeah, I look like a guy who's going to consume five boxes of fucking cookies, and fuck you for that comment. Um, <laughs> <laughs> fucking asshole. Um, so anyway, so, <laughs> it was well played, though. I'll give you credit. Hey, 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 look. Put one up for Mikey on the board. He got a, he got a, he got a, woohoo, slam, three-pointer. He was out for freaking half-court range. So anyway... Um, yeah, buddy. So I literally said okay I, I wanted to hear her hey sell me this pen <laughs> you know pitch <laughs> so i said to her i go hey i said i'd be willing to buy some cookies i was like so give me your best shot what do you recommend and tell me a little bit about these cookies let me tell right. you something man this little girl fucking nailed it i mean nailed it i was so proud of her i would have probably bought eight boxes if i had cash on me you know what i mean but I also didn't want to spend, you know, a shit ton, $48 on cookies. And then I'd totally look like a fat ass walking away. But anyway. Yeah. So long story short, I, she goes through every box in full detail. I'm basically everything besides reading me the ingredients. You know what I mean? Everything besides reading me the ingredients yeah. in the box. So I said to her at the end, I was like, what do you recommend? She goes, I really love these new s'mores we have. Uh, they are the uh-huh. absolute delicious. And I went like this, sold, sold. And so I gave her a fist bump and I said, well done, young lady. Well done. And the mom was like, thank you so much. And I was like, yeah, it's for six bucks, but whatever. You know what I mean? I was like, it's like a dollar a cookie. It's like a dollar a cookie, son of a bitch. (laughs) But anyway, so I was like, whatever. So I had, I did have one. I'm going to have to be honest with you. I ate one because I had to try it just to see. And she was on point. They're fucking delicious. Good job, Girl Scouts. Good job. which, which, Which ones were they? It's the s'mores. Oh, yeah. yeah some new okay. new one they have from this year. I haven't tried them, but they're in the house. I haven't tried them though. <laughs> they're they're really good, dude. Just eat one. That's all I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> don't don't just put one in it put one in your mouth and then walk away from the box. That's all I'm telling you. We actually gave it. the box to our grandkids so they'd leave, so I wouldn't be tempted. I'm not doing it. He was beating up the cookies and I was looking at him like this. I hate this kid. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. My own grandkid. It was really good. I mean, it was a nice little sweet tooth <laughs> set session. Was it? Yeah, it's just one cookie. Who gives a shit? You gotta live. So anyway, so I see a, a I see a person, a friend of mine. I see a friend of mine. I see a friend. You're such a jerk. So I, so I see a friend of mine make the same post on Facebook, you know, yes. about how this little girl was great. But then I read a little bit more to the story, and he's like. I have to use a pet peeve session on this. And I was like, oh, this is going to be juicy. You know what I mean? I was like, here we go. I can't wait to chime in on this bitch. So the lady walks up and she goes, yeah, I'll take the uh, dozy does or whatever the freak of the hell are they called or the ting dows or I don't forget what the hell they're called. Um, But anyway, they're real. You know, those are good too. Whatever they are. I just never remember the name. They're like peanut butter chocolate covered. But anyway, so the tag tag alongs. Tag alongs, tag alongs, the ching dows, whatever. You know what I mean? Oh, Jesus. (laughs) I I couldn't think of the stupid name. Tag alongs. I don't know why I can't remember that name. Tag alongs. I don't know. I don't know why you went hardcore Asian on them. I don't know. Whatever. It's the port. They're they're not even close to like (laughs) Asian flavored. It was the port I looked at this morning. Sorry. 
<laughs> it was still reminiscing in my memory banks. But anyway, um, that oh being my. said. Oh, oh, my. But anyway, so <laughs> uh, he proceeds to tell the story. Then he walks up pretty much in a nutshell and says, you know, hey, how much are these? I'll take these. And the yeah. little girl says to her, the same little girl says, those are just $6. And she goes, $6? I'll give you five like they were last year. And it goes to hand her a $5 bill. And the, the person, my friend, I'm not going to mention their name on Facebook, was like, WTF, what is wrong with you, mom? You know what I mean? Because obviously she was a mother. Like, And I'm th- sitting here going like this. Are you shitting me right now? And the, and the, and the little girl was like, just looked confused is what he's describing. And <laughs> the lady that the, the mother is behind her goes, no, ma'am, I'm yeah. sorry. We're going to have to decline. It's $6 for the box. We don't get yeah. the prices for right. Girl Scouts of America. I'm, unfortunately, you know. They raise right. the price. Yeah, hundred percent. And the lady's like, psh, like getting pissed off, hands her like puts another dollar on the table. Doesn't even hand it to her. Just puts it on the table and says, and walks away. Oh, good. Well, how fuck fucking her. rude though, man. I'm like, you know, it, it <sighs> kind of made me think about why do we feel like we're so entitled? You know, you're not at a flea market, man. You're not. Hey, you're not at a, a, a garage sale. Hey, I'll give you a dollar for that. It's a company. Just- they charge the money, and it, you're supporting a freaking little girl. And the Girl Scouts is a wonderful organization, just like the Boy Scouts. I know the Boy Scouts took a lot of heat, but the, the but the organization itself does good for young men. Yes, and the Girl Scouts yep. does good for young women. So it's like, why would you be an a hole to a little kid trying to raise funds so they can do stuff around the campsites or whatever they're volunteering for? You know what right. I mean? I'm just like, what is what is what is going on with this? entitlement uh these entitlement people like i feel like it's more and more and more lately than ever and I, well it is i feel it is too but because i think people are starting to get fed up with everything being so high priced well so but you can't i mean you can't blame a little girl you know what i mean if you don't want to spend six dollars you don't want to spend a dollar but, but, more but but it's easy it's it easy you, you don't have to see it you don't have to see them every day and it's it's a low hanging fruit because you're not going to be able to pop off at your boss who you're probably mad at. You're not going to be able to pop off at your spouse. You know what I mean? You're not going to be able to you're not going to be able to offer five dollars in the grocery store for milk because nobody's going to give a shit. They're just going to laugh at you. So you're going to take it out on a little kid because that's that's the kind of piece of shit these people are. You know, because it's the lowest common denominator. Like you blow up at the people that you feel are beneath you. And that's probably who she felt was beneath her. So, you know, that fucking sucks, and they shouldn't do that. I think it makes but, you. I think it makes you a dick. Yeah, that's just me. But I'm just, I'm just saying. Makes See, you. A I'm dick. kind of. I've kind of. I kind of got frustrated the other day at Sam's, um, because you know I went in there to do my shopping and I came out and there was five different groups in front of Sam's, all hawking their wares. There was like a baseball team, a cheerleaders, a football club, the Girl Scouts, some other charity, and then some other thing just trying to sell stuff. Like that was like, you know, like home warranty inspections or some bullshit like that. So you literally walk out of the store and you get accosted with people holding their hands out. And I was just like, God, dog, like I I, I get it. You know, times are rough, but seriously, like five different groups on the same day. Like it's a gauntlet, like running through the gauntlet. And you're like, no, no, thank you, no, thank you. You know, I like in my Girl Scout <laughs> cookies because, you know, the, I've already the got Valkyrie like needs food. <laughs> I've already got like six boxes of Girl Scout cookies inside the house right now. Like I've got every flavor of Girl Scout cookie in the house. I have not had one, <laughs> um, but they're there. You know, we're already on our. There, we. When I say we, I mean the them. people in the house. I know them. They're already on their third box of Thin Mints. Like they've Holy already re-upped crap. twice. Is your everybody boy, loves Thin Mints. Is your boy and, and daughter? He's not even here that yet. Shit? Wait, He's not what? here yet. It's just my, it's my wife and daughter. Like they're oh my like God. my daughter took the entire box of Thin Mints to her work with her, and then you know Tracy was like, "Hey, what happened to the Thin Mints?" And she's like, "Oh man, I'm sorry." So she went and bought two boxes for you know brought them back for Tracy, you know, because she felt bad for taking them all. all right. But yeah, they're all in there right now, just sitting there staring at me. And I'm like, you know, and I'm on a quest to lose weight and I'm doing so really well at it. And 
And, uh, you know, it's just helping with the willpower going, Hey, I don't need that. I mean, you know, the thing is, is like my pantry is completely not segue real quick and then we'll bounce back. But like my pantry is completely stocked, you know, with a bunch of like kid snacks yep, and stuff like that. I feel your pain. I can't, um, I'm not lucky enough to be in one of those environments because, you know, all the physical people, t- physical fitness people are like, get rid of everything. I know. Clear right? it out. Get it out of your environment. Well, that's fantastic if you're living by yourself and you're single or if you got a spouse that's 100 percent dialed into the exact same meal plan you are and everything else and you don't have kids. You know, that's perfect if you're the, you know, the gym rat that works out 24 seven. Right. And that's all you do. That's great. You know, you can do that. But when you have other people in your life that are making the same life decisions, you can't impose your will on them. You can't say, hey, listen, because I'm doing this, this can't be in my house. I mean, I guess you can, but that makes for a very unhappy household. Yeah, you're you're, you gonna, you're gonna lose lose that's a lose lose situation and right there that you just explained. I feel like when you do that, you're actually setting yourself up for failure in the future because now when you're outside of your environment and you're in you're in the real world, you know, you're not in your little cocoon of safety. You're going to be more prone to fuck up. Yeah. Especially if you're not the type of person that's been healthy and fit your entire life. Like if it's something that you've battled and struggled with, you know, you're going to have, you're going to have that problem because you're going to be like, well, I'm on vacation or I'm at my friend's house. So it's okay. Or I can, you know, like (laughs) whatever, you know, you're not building the willpower, the resistance going, Hey, I don't need it. Like it's here every day. It's in my face. I don't need it. You know, you're not giving, you're forgiving yourself if you even have a mistake, but, but going back to the parents and the stuff, like, you know, it's it's a savage world right now. But, you know, kudos to the mom for sticking up and not taking the five dollars, you know, and just putting a dollar in out of her own pocket, because I've seen people do that, too. Right. You know. Where they just go, they just cave and they're like, yeah, here you go, you know, and they're throwing a dollar of their own pocket. Um, you know, for showing the girl to stand up to the person and make them pay the additional, you know, and then the world's filled full of shitty people, you know. Oh, Um. <laughs> It is. Yeah, I mean, yeah. but the, the, the world's also filled with a lot of good people. I mean, I've said this before on uh, uh, previous shows mm-hmm. uh, that, like, my neighbors, like, you know, they make it yeah. out in the media to, like, where everybody doesn't like each other, you know, and, yeah, uh, yeah, like, yeah. people don't well, like that's their just neighbors. The media. That's, that's just the media clients. being the media. But I'll be honest with you, man. I have really great neighbors. I have, uh, you know, a great neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like the town as itself is really a, the, a great place to live. I mean, yeah, right. the traffic sucks balls, but I mean, as far as the, how everybody's pretty interconnected and everybody knows each other, because we do still do have that small town mentality here. Yep. Um, unlike, unlike an Orlando or a Tampa, you know, which is really big, but I still feel like even those, uh, maybe more so Tampa than Orlando has still yep. very strong connections there with people too. You know what I mean? Uh, yes. because even though it's a major port city, it's still a very, um, tight unit of people that know each other over there where when you go to Orlando because of the tourism is so huge uh-huh. you have people coming in from all walks of life and all over the world to go to Disney Universal whatever SeaWorld you name it the theme parks go on and on and on it seems like but it really makes it, it different songs yeah I know we totally had two different songs but it totally makes it to me a slightly disconnected on that connection level you know with people in that surrounding yes. areas unless they're in you know their own little neighborhoods but because the town is just so big i mean orlando is huge yes. it's spread out you know well our town's huge i mean yeah. there's so many people that are all over the place so, i mean it's challenging to like build you know relationships and stuff like that and i think covid really made it more challenging and you do have the online part but i think the problem with that is is you don't have that you know you don't have the fear of getting a punch in the face. So when you're online, people say things that they probably would not say to you face to face because they, they're safe behind their computers. All right. So it makes it a much more nasty place for people to live in. Um, Mm -hmm. so, you know, um, you know, what do you, uh, what do you do? You know what I mean? (laughs) I've done that. No, I'm just saying like, what, like, like, what do you do? Like, what do you, you know, what do you, what do you, what do you do in the online environment? Like, how do you go out and find new people? You know, not in online, but how do you find quality people to hang out with and things like that? I mean, there's a, go ahead. No, I was listening. I was just taking a breath. Sorry. I'm fat. Oh no. Still. 
<laughs> no, I was gonna. I mean, that was, that was my question. Like, what 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 are some what are some valuable ways to go find quality people to spend your time with? Like, find new people to spend your time with. You, yeah, what's your thoughts on that? You, you know, I think it's just getting involved with like different groups. You know, trying to find and you have to start online and research a little bit, unfortunately, because, you know, like yeah. you said, I think because of covid, we've become a little bit disconnected when it comes to yes. uh, connections. So I think you have to just kind of look and see what groups are there. Like, mm -hmm. you know, it's no different than when you're business networking, you know, and you see like a yeah. uh, little expos pop up and stuff like that. And you start building relationships, you know, B2B, you know, or, you know, whatever type stuff. Um, and that's where you start building those connections. I feel like it's the same way, whether you get it from a church setting you know, a church event, yeah. if you're into, you know, religion, some people aren't, some people are, you know what I mean? Yeah, um, but right. I think, I think you can start there looking around and uh -huh. seeing in your own hometown, in your own backyard, where those events are to drive you there to get you those connections. And then, cause you know how it is, it, you know, life in connections to me are like a pyramid scheme. Once you make yeah. one connection, you end up making two or three or four more connections underneath them that they may know, uh -huh. you know, especially if the person likes you. Like me, yeah. I'll always give off that, you know, hey, you really should reach out to this guy. And we do that already on Facebook. I'll just use that as an example. Like if, you know, you got a, somebody post, hey, I'm really in need of a pressure washer guy. You know what I mean? And right. then you, and you know, mm -hmm. you have a friend that is a pressure washer person. You know what I mean? You're like, hey, talk to them because they do this, you know, or, hey, this guy uh, is a roofer. You know what I mean? Right. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, they own a roofing company. This is yours. So we're already kind of doing that socially anyway. I just think that you I, – I'm still old school. I like in-person, you know, meetings. I still like in-person meetings because I always say that, you know, text and emails, you're, the way you come across can be lost in transition. You know? Yep. So when yeah. you when you get lost in <laughs> when you get lost in transition, uh, you stopped in the middle middle of the thought, and I was like, "Do I need to interject here?" Well, or yeah. Well, I mean, what's he thinking? <laughs> it was more like it was more like a slight pause because you know I want people to be thinking like with their okay. own brains too, like a huh, yeah, you know, uh, because I do that from time to time. Like I'll, when I'm talking or I'm thinking, I'm I, I might stop and think about what you're saying in my mind, like a pause, like wow, yep, you know. But uh, yeah. I just feel like getting back to where we were with entitled people. Um, I, I understand yeah. that you said, you know, oh, well, people are tired of. I know we're going to circle back before we close out the show. Uh -huh. But but no, the reality not. but the reality is, is that you said a statement earlier that you believe that people are sick and tired of paying high prices. But how can you blame like a little individual girl that's selling a cookie that went up by a dollar? I mean, I can understand if it was like $10 you're not blaming. Something. You're you're not blaming. You're just taking it out on somebody that you know can't fight back or cause you grief. Then why do it at all then? Because you you're just at wit's end. I mean, the person might just be wit's end, and they're just lashing out, or they, and they could just be shitty people. I mean, there's <laughs> shitty people in the world. <laughs> or they could just be shitty people. That was my point. Yeah, have you ever? I mean, have you ever been mean to somebody? That didn't deserve unintentionally it. because yes. you're having a bad day. Yes, I can't be a hypocrite. I've done it myself. Right, but so, I'm I mean, trying that, that's, not that's to be that I'm person. Thinking, you know what I mean? But I'm trying not to right. be that person. I know that, but in the moment you were that person in that moment. But that doesn't mean that's who you are. So maybe that she was just having a moment. Maybe she just went inside and was like, "Okay, I got this, this, and this, and this." And like you know, like last night, like I went to the grocery store. I got oh, Jesus. I got stuff to make spaghetti. Um, not last night, the night before, I got stuff to make spaghetti. Right, and a lot of the stuff was bogo. By the time I got to the register, you know, getting some stuff for breakfast and spaghetti, I was at 50 freaking dollars. Okay. At 50 bucks, you know, for, it was like, One I got meal. like, <laughs> I got, well, no, it's more meals. Cause I got oh, okay. like four sauces cause they were oh, bogo. Okay. So I bought, bought two, got two free, you know, the, uh, noodles were bogo. So I bought, bought two, got two free. Um, you know, I got the orange juice for breakfast. I got some pancake mix, some bacon, you know, it was a fair, it was like an okay amount of food, but I wasn't expecting it to be 50 bucks. You know, I mean, that stuff probably, uh, two years ago or a year and a half ago would have been like 25. Right. You know, so I was like, shit, $50 right out the door. So then I walk outside and they're like, Hey, would you like to buy this? Would you like to buy that? And it's like, or, and it's like, God dang, man, no. And then, yeah. you know, at the register, they're also like, Hey, do you want to contribute, you know, $10 to the, 
you know, feed the homeless people or whatever it was. And I was like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Like I, I, I donate in other ways. And then they look at you like, oh, well, you're a selfish son of a bitch. Well, no, you know I, what I mean? I, yeah, like, dude, I, I get it, man. Because like, for instance, I, you know, something you said a while so, back, like about in season one, I think like halfway through season one, we had a similar topic yeah. to this, but you made an interesting statement in there because you said, I don't want to round up half the time especially and i'm gonna pick on mcdonald's here i'm just gonna use them as an example because they're like hey do you want to donate to the ronald mcdonald house no mcdonald's already does they already paid that money out they're just trying to recuperate a lot of what they already paid into you know what i mean and it's yeah. so oh yeah it, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That's, so that's it, money they've already the money they've already committed and they're just trying to recoup it yeah so i was like profits. this i go i go well dude no they're charging me ten dollars for a freaking big mac meal I mean, I'm just saying if I still ate there, I really don't eat at McDonald's much. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I normally, if I need to get a quick egg McMuffin, that's my go-to if I'm in a hurry. You know what I mean? Other than that, I don't eat McDonald's. I haven't eaten McDonald's hamburgers in weeks. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but that being said, at the grocery store, I went as well, <laughs> and I dropped easily $98. And I swear yeah. to God, it's like you pay more to eat healthier than mm -hmm. you do to eat like shit. And I really feel like, and they, and, it, and I know, and I know it costs more to process that process shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? For a company. Right. But they charge you less because they want you to be shitty. Yep. In my opinion, that's just a straight opinion. I don't have any fact to back that up, but I'm saying in my opinion, I believe if you stay on the outside of the store, watch how expensive your bill is. I literally got Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. I got some asparagus. I got green beans. I got a couple of mixed vegetable packs because mushrooms yeah. ported, you know baby portobello mushrooms dude 98 bucks i was like oh Jesus. yeah it's huge i was like holy shit man and you know the problem yeah. is is i have to start freezing some of it so it doesn't go bad because i can't eat it fast enough because good vegetables don't have good shelf life i always question a vegetable that has a huge self shelf life yeah, I notice when I get veggies at the farmers market they're bad within one or two days. You're damn right. I don't cook them right because, away. Because you know, but because there's a reason for that, but we can get so now, about I was that on a whole other episode. Though, to... Yeah, which we could we could probably break this off into another episode, but um yeah, let's do that. You know, actually let's I'm going to save my thought and that'll be a good topic for another episode. Sounds we like can a talk point. about that. GMOs. Because I think that's going going into a whole another situation. Agree. So, well, yep. Speaking of GMOs, we're, getting... we're going to LFG out of here. Um Let's fucking go. Uh, guys, let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Ooh. Let's get this week going. Uh, if you haven't already started yesterday, which was, you know, a Monday, but if you didn't get started yesterday, <laughs> today's your day. So get moving. If you're not moving, you're dying. Remember that. So with that, yep. don't forget to follow us over at the dailybm.com where you can find us on all our socials. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We are now on Rumble as well. You can follow us on YouTube, all of them. So, Mikey, got anything before we get out of here? Hey, everybody, just have a great day. Have a great week. And, you know, there's no better day to, than today to get started on your dreams. That's right, guys. You know what? So with that, great way to end. Aww. We'll catch you guys on the flip side. This is... <laughs>